guys, how's it going? Tim's back again with another episode of Pac-Man and it's time to see if we can win that Division 9 title. As you can see, the four games we've played so far, we've won three of them, drawn one, so we need just three points to confirm success in this division and promotion up to Division 8. So uh, I actually had to move weight from the uh, from the bench there because he was injured in the last game, but that wasn't going to affect us in this one. We uh, we played the uh, weaker side or the side with less chemistry, but that has been equally effective for us going forward and uh, actually winning games, so uh, maybe they're on a level par, who knows. But we come up against another team here that looks as if it's maybe a packed team or a side that he's just kind of tried to put together with a couple of players that he's added in there, but there were quite a few Germans, the left-back playing at centre-back, so I was quite confident heading into this in the, this one that we were going to be able to pick up the three points we needed to win the division title but we came close there good save from the keeper and then the follow-up shot he just swung and missed at it but we're actually going to pick the ball up off him in the midfield once again Zenelar who's going to break through play the obvious ball over the top to Guy who just gets there ahead of the goalkeeper to lift it over the top of him in the half on the, in the half an hour on the half an hour you can't be inside a minute can you on the half hour to um to get to first one in like what am I even talking about? Zenila who then breaks free again at just five minutes late is going to cut back. See the run from late from Fisa. So he breaks from about 40 yards out, strikes it left foot. It is a weak shot, an absolutely horrible shot, and somehow the goalkeeper fails to save it. And this is kind of why goalkeepers need to be improved a little bit as well. As I'm recording this, there hasn't been a patch for headers or finesse shots or uh, or goalkeeper ability. That's right next to him. Why is he run towards it stopped? then dived like there's there's no reason why he would ever do that but we went in at half time 2-0 up and he would have been probably absolutely fuming at the fact that that goal went in just 10 minutes before half time because uh, he wasn't as bad as the scoreline suggests and as uh, the highlights suggest he did have a couple of decent chances himself although his possession play wasn't the best it was more counter attacking chances but uh, we were paying dividends with uh, with our own attacks another good shot on target there that was well saved by his goalkeeper and Guy's going to play a through ball to Zenelar who beats the defender with uh, with a good turn but he gets back at him he's got another player on the other side so he has to take the shot early and it's another good save from the goalkeeper and then he's actually going to get a goal of his own here breaking free Kondogbia is uh, the player that's going to score it now he was all over me with that man all game long. Kondogba is so strong and uh, really, really hard to play against. He runs through the net and the post there, I think, to pick the ball up. But nonetheless, we do run out 2-1 winners. So that is the Division 9 title assured. We've won Division 10 on the way up. We've now won Division 9. So that is hopefully going to be the end of the bronze, or bronze team or bronze part of this series. We're going to move on. We're going to start playing some silver players from here on in. As you can see, confirmation on screen. We've won the title, and I think we get 3,000 coins as a prize for it as well. Yep, 3,000 coins. So what we did, we're going to go and open three 3,750 premium silver packs. So we've got 27, just over 27,000 coins in the stat balance. We're going to try and get some better players to try and boost the, uh, the silver team as we head into using it in the next episode and the first pack we pull a Jermaine Pennant which is absolutely fantastic of course we've already got a, uh, a Seamus Coleman at right back so he will link up very very well indeed with him we've also got a, uh, an English centre mid that will sit very very nicely inside of Jermaine Pennant and also Derrida there another right mid that we could maybe use in a rotations in a rotation team he was at Southampton last year I think he's got 88 pace so hopefully he can be of use to us as well and in the second pack as the silver globe spins around we pull Balati now not the best of packs he's a bit slow but does look like he's going to be half decent defensively with 72 passing and 72 defending on the card face the other two aren't necessarily the best of players and uh, unfortunately obviously we have the rule of uh, changing clubs and or badges club items basically badges and kits we actually get two red kits so i put them both on and uh, fortunately in this last part we're going to get another kit so i can actually change from having two red kits to uh, to have a white one but uh, in the third pack, the players we're going to pull, because it's important that we get some decent players and some decent squad depth as well on the silver side of things, we pull a 70-rated uh, South Korean centre-back. But that isn't the main player in this pack, not even this left-back with 81 pace. Joshua Gatt, 93 pace, playing for, uh, I think it's in the MLS, I think is that uh, the Whitecaps, Vancouver Whitecaps, I'm not too sure with the uh, with the badge, I think it's a Vancouver Whitecaps, but we get the Belim or Belim, 
Belem, maybe? I'm not really too sure how to pronounce it. We get a white away kit and another badge. So uh, we're up to date. We're going to push forward into the next episode in Division 8. It is a shorter one this time around because uh, we did only need that one game in this episode to get us promotion. So uh, do feel free to leave the video a like. If you could be so kind, that would be superb. If you haven't subscribed already, there will be a link in the description and an annotation over the Pac-Man on screen to do so. Of course, as always, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Chesnoy Gaming, and there will be a link on screen over the uh, pink ghost to uh, the previous episode in this series if you missed it and of course feel free to check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the last few days and there will be a Spurs career mode episode coming later on this evening as always so uh, thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time